These videos are freaking creepy. You know what word I want to use instead, so let's just leave it at that. Number 5. A man enters a restaurant in Split, Croatia, and helps himself not only to a chair, but to a customer's belongings as well. First, he enters loudly enough to make two women turn around and take notice. He was probably on a fake phone call and tried to play it cool, but fails miserably. He pretends to hang his jacket up on the chair and stretches out to try and swipe this black backpack. It doesn't work, and so, undeterred, he tries again. This time as one of the family members gets up, and he's about as close as he can be to getting caught here at 41 seconds, and so he knocks it to the floor while the older man is busy swapping out a more comfortable chair, covers it with his jacket, picks it up, and dips. They must have thought the odd fellow simply changed his mind about eating here. Only later did they realize he had gotten away with one of their travel documents. Obviously, this man has practiced this technique many times before, and probably targeted them because they looked like a tourist family. He has yet to be caught in the past four years, and most likely never will. So the next time you're at a restaurant, watch out for any odd characters sitting at a table near you. Number 4. There's something happening over Bryan, Texas that you don't want any part of. <laughs> That is so loud and so, like, eerie. May 27th of 2020 is when it first started. A strange screaming in the sky as a YouTuber named Daniel Rob puts it. There's a sound screaming. Like a, it's like a... It's like a scream. It's so freaking loud. He steps outside and can't exactly pinpoint where it's coming from. It's in front of his house one minute, behind him the next. I just stepped in a bunch of mud. What is that sound? Now it sounds like it's coming from behind me. This doesn't look like normal lighting. It's not even raining. That is so f scary. I get goosebumps. I don't know what that is. All right, I'm going back inside. Um, I've had enough of the screaming band. And he can hear it from within his house. It literally sounds like it's coming from the sky. Two days later, Daniel Robb is still understandably freaked out and noticing every last thing out of place. Back-to-back -back jets fly low past his house. Jets that he's never once in his life seen before. Tell me what kind of jets they are, and if you think they're heading off to investigate. At 8.30 that night, he hears the weird weather return, and he hears the sound again. It's coming in the same directions the jets were heading to before. At 2 minutes and 52 seconds, the outline of an odd object is briefly illuminated by a flash of lightning. It's not a cloud in my opinion, because there's nothing else like it anywhere else in the sky. So then what is it? Daniel isn't the only one to come forward with video evidence. A fellow YouTuber in Bryan, Texas, named Rusty Apadillo, posted from the very same night. He's even closer to the source and we get a clearer sound. It's a scary scream coming from the woods, followed by a predator-like noise that Daniel was too far away to hear. In both videos, there's a strange flash of light whenever the scream is heard. It sounds like an audio recording on a loop if you ask me, but that can't be it because there's the strange lighting when it happens as well. If you live in Bryan, Texas, and have any more information, let us know. Or better yet, upload a video of it yourself and I'll try to take a look if I can. Number 3. Ricky Velasquez is the name of a YouTuber who goes to a small Mexican coastal town called Bejos de Mimoyha to investigate what they refer to only as an enigma. This area is where a woman once took the life of her son. He is led here by a respected village elder who stands before the wall and prays, hoping to get a communication. Meanwhile, Ricky walks around the perimeter and records. What could be a woman's voice at 2 minutes and 15 seconds? Perhaps the same woman who took the life of her own child. Ricky 
Ricky documents this spot with special tracking equipment for ghosts. I doubt you will ever see anything, but he knows what to look for, and so will you after I show you. Oy. Okay, check out this still frame at 25 minutes and 20 seconds. I'll point an arrow at the human shaped figure and circle the demon like shaped figure that's shrouded in shadows, red horns and all. This alone terrifies Ricky, but he doesn't want to interrupt his guide, so he quietly goes to where he saw it. He turns on a special bulb and detects movement where it was last standing. <laughs> It's hard to tell if this movement was a shadow person, or just his own hand, so you tell me. Either way, fear makes him ditch his guide and run into the dark woods, a decision that he instantly regrets. Crouched in the shadows is the shape of a boy and a coyote. Apparently they were watching from the shadows until he accidentally stumbles upon them. So ask Ricky and he'll tell you this legend is all too real. Number 2 Casey of a YouTube channel called Surviving Louisiana took up ghost hunting as a hobby some time ago. Though lately, ever since he was contacted by a spirit named Seth, his hobby has become a way of life and not necessarily in a good way. He wakes up to a feeling of paranormal discomfort, so he pulls out two pieces of ghost hunting equipment, a program that lets him communicate with spirits, and an EMF meter to measure electricity in the air. He tells Seth to stand in front of the EMF meter, and sure enough, the ghost seems to respond. You guys make this light up a lot. Oh, good job. Good job. There's a lot of you here, huh? The EMF meter holds a steady beep like a heartbeat, and the spirit box lets out a sigh. Seth is not afraid to tell Casey how it feels. Very upset about it. <laughs> Anger. I think whatever program Casey's using is real, because he says out loud that Seth is upset, and then it detects Seth saying the word anger in response, or more like growling it. It kind of sounds like he says anger too, when you slow down the growl. Anger. They try to joke around with Seth, but the spirit is having none of it. Their mirth makes the green bar spike to orange and their EMF beeps faster than ever. Go away it writes. Casey thinks it's telling them to put away their spirit equipment, but I'm pretty sure it's ordering them out of their own home. That was on May 20th of 2020. 11 days later, Seth barges into their bedroom late at night for another session of angry EVPs. It says three scary words and notice how the EMF meter beeps excitedly when Casey repeats them. Anyway, it says can't hear you and we're trying to figure out if it's threatening us or if it's explaining to us what's happening. We don't deal with threatening ghosts. Um, Keep in mind this beeping is coming from a different piece of equipment, the EMF meter, which is on the opposite of the bed. It always seems to beep rapidly before the spirit box speaks. Are you bad? Or are you good? I definitely just heard a woman's voice say my baby more clearly than anything else so far. I would probably be out the door or even out the window by now, but I guess after weeks of paranormal activity, Casey and his wife are used to Seth, and so they carry on, and that's when things get morbid fast. They show sympathy to the woman with a missing baby, and that's when Seth comes back through the box to unleash some more messed up phrases. Well, I'm sorry you're not with them. I'm guessing. Shovel. Get any money out of this, because I'm not. Dispose. Ooh, growling. 
My baby, shovel, dispose, growling. Just saying these words out loud creates enough of a picture for me. But then Seth really drives his psychopathic points home with another final phrase. I've never seen it go that high. Hurt. Do you hurt? I think he does. Not himself though. Instead, those around him. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds? Because I upload 4 new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. Shayna McNeil of Queensland, Australia is partying with her friends and getting wilder as the night goes on. It doesn't help that she has a large social media following encouraging her to do things she probably ordinarily wouldn't do on her own. To be honest, the video doesn't even really look that bad at first. I'm sure we've all made some pretty goofy videos with our friends before so no harm there. It's only when they get in a car that the night gets out of control, and not in a fun way. The GPS keeps interrupting her song, and she pretends to get progressively madder each time. It's kind of funny I guess, but what's not funny is how she hits the gas every time she gets fake mad. Except the roundabout oh! <laughs> It's not safe, but by now she is loving the attention and takes to veering lanes. She barely manages to swerve back into her own lane and is too busy showing off for the camera. When they make one final mistake, she misses the first car but does not see the second one behind it. Hopefully this video can be a wake up call to some drivers, no matter how strange a sense of humor you may have. Never use your car as a prop, and if you're the passenger, never be afraid to tell your friend to watch the road or pay more attention when they drive. You might be saving their life. Some of these videos could be real and some of them not, but all of them have one thing in common. They are too scary for you to handle.